When courgette or zucchini plants mature, the older leaves often develop silvery grey blotches, streaks or spots on their upper surfaces. You may even notice the odd leaf becoming entirely yellow. In this case, there's no disease or pest present, it's simply a sign of a mature leaf. As long as the silver areas aren't accompanied by insects feeding on the underside, blooming fungal bodies, or dried out spots along the leaf surface, it's unlikely that your plant is ill. Zucchini plants will produce these large, silvery white blotches on their leaves naturally as part of leaf coloration. These blotches are part of the leaf and won't rub off. It's said that these are tiny pockets of air underneath the leaf surface that reflect light. Some people even think they help to repel aphids. An observation we've made are the occasional bright yellow leaves on healthy, vigorous plants. It seems to be a natural trait on yellow fruiting varieties as we haven't noticed it on our green fruiting plants. And it seems to have no effect on the overall growth or yield of the plant. Powdery mildew fungus can cause the appearance of white coloration on the leaves of your zucchinis. In this case, the white coloration due to the fruiting structures of the fungus as they produce their spores will look more like a dusting of flour on the leaf and you can rub it off with your finger. It's common as the season progresses because the night temperatures are appropriate for growth and spore production for powdery mildew. Downy mildew is another disease that can affect your cucurbit plants like these cucumbers, melons and your zucchinis. It's caused by fungus-like microorganisms. It's often visible as yellow spots on the upper leaf surface. These later dry out becoming brown. In wet or humid conditions, a purple-grey downy growth can be seen on the underside of the spots. Mildews are often not fatal and your plants can still produce good yields of healthy, unaffected fruit and foliage, despite ongoing infections in older leaves. In fact, the majority of zucchini plants develop mildew infections by mid to late summer in warm temperate areas. This is because the vigorous fruiting exhausts the plant and weakens its immune system. Having said that, there are a few ways you can minimise mildew problems. By watering your plants early in the morning on every second or third day. This is to allow the air around the leaves to dry before nightfall. Watering in the evening will create humidity around the plants which will favour the growth of fungus. Space your plants well to encourage good air circulation and don't overwater. You can compost infected plant debris but it's important that it's exposed to high composting temperatures that develop in the centre of the compost pile to kill disease spores on the plant material. You can also put the plant material into a tightly closed black plastic bag exposed to the sun for a few days so the temperature inside the bag exceeds 55 degrees centigrade or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This will kill the fungus without the worry of spreading the diseases next year. Being no dig and using a wood chip mulch, we never actually water our plants other than when we first plant them. The wood chips retain moisture below but the top surface dries quickly after rain, saving water and our plants from unnecessary disease problems. Like I talked about in our Why Are You Growing Potatoes as Annuals video, we believe a plant's best defence against disease is its own immune system. And here's an example I'd like to show you. I planted these two zucchinis at exactly the same time. The only difference is this plant here, a few days after planting, a blackbird dug around the roots and pulled it out of the ground slightly. And lucky I found it early and I got it back in, but just that early root disturbance meant the plant never really established a decent root system and has been behind its neighbour here. And as you can see from the two, this plant is ginormous, new foliage is very healthy, yet its neighbour here is absolutely covered in powdery mildew and isn't producing much 
in the way of fruits. It's got a couple down here. Um, but I've left this as an example of how the immune systems of the plants work. Even though this plant is covered in the powdery mildew and it's rubbing literally on the leaves of its neighbour, this plant still isn't catching it and is still pumping out a crazy amount of fruit. So there's several things we can do now to keep this plant growing healthy and vigorous. One of those is by removing some of the old foliage now that the plant is no longer really putting energy into and starting to yellow and die off anyway. That's going to help increase airflow around our fruits and the rest of the foliage to help reduce further the chances of us developing any form of mildew disease as the season progresses. You can notice again how quite a few of the, the lower leaves on this plant especially uh, do have this yellow in, but especially if it's the older leaves at the bottom, the plant's just naturally not putting so much energy and resources into these now. So the lower leaves and the oldest leaves are always going to be the worst looking ones. Okay, so now we've uh, opened it up a little bit down here. We can remove some of these older fruits, which I have left on a little too long actually, but I just wanted to leave them on an extra few days because I knew I'd be making this video. So we've now really opened up this plant. It's got great airflow through the bottom section. And there's plenty of new growing buds forming in the growing tip. I'm not too worried about this plant affected by the powdery mildew. The new growth is actually looking okay, but if I did want to do something, I could remove some of this worse affected foliage to open up the lower section of the plant and increase the airflow. Here's some examples of different leaves with descriptions in case you want to pause the video. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and press the subscribe button below and the little bell button next to it. That will ensure each time we put up a new video, you'll be notified. And liking will help to spread this information throughout the nation.